No matter how hard we try, there's always one room in the house that could use just a little bit of extra help. Time to dust off the rubber gloves. We're giving everything a spring clean, starting with the kitchen and the pantry, the major culprit. Well, it doesn't look like we can fit a lot more in here, right? Wrong. With a little clever organisation, I reckon we can claw back about a third of this space. Alrighty, so now we can see what we're really dealing with. At this stage, it's a great idea to sort through your food. Just check for any expired dates, get rid of that stuff. And things like tins and jars, well, they can obviously go back in as they are, but half open packets, well, the food goes stale and they also look messy and take up a lot of room. So the way I store those sorts of things are in these clear tubs. Now, these ones are airtight, so they keep the food fresh. And they're also square. I go for the square, not the round. That way, they'll stack easily and they take up a lot less space. Well, I think that looks pretty good. You have to agree, it is so much better. We've got more cupboard space, everything's within easy reach, and it's easy to see. But don't forget you also have this wasted space on the doors. Now, with handy hooks like these, you can hang all sorts of little tiny bits and pieces, things like measuring cups and spoons, scissors, stuff that you need every day. I think that one's taken care of. So let's tackle the one now that everyone forgets, the one above the microwave. My secret weapon for the medicine cupboard are these little stack and store tubs. You actually find them from the hardware store. They're nice and shallow, perfect for tablets, medicines and band-aids and that kind of thing. Once all of your medicines are inside, you can just keep stacking them up so they use the full height of the cupboard. And if you're looking for something, instead of just reaching out lots of containers, you can just pull the whole thing out with one hand, search for what you're after, slide them apart, find what you want, back it goes, back into the cupboard. Now for the broom cupboard. We've all got one. Sadly, most of them look like this, but you know, it's not a big deal to take care of this mess. All you need are some of these. They're called broom grippers, and they simply lock the broom handle in like that. Now, they say they'll hold around 1.8 kilos, which is pretty strong. It's almost as much as a big bottle of milk. So let's just get it tidied up once and for all. They're a cinch to use. You simply peel and stick them on and they'll hold all kinds of handles, mops and brooms. And along with a few hooks, it's an easy way to get your broom cupboard tidy. Looking good. You know, I've conquered some of the most common kitchen clutter hotspots, but you know, I'm not done yet. If you've got a scungy cupboard, you know the one, that one under the kitchen sink. Well, there's no need to put up with it that way. A few simple changes and we can whip it into shape in no time. This cupboard is the real workhorse of the kitchen. You know, the floor of it tends to get really grubby, especially if you've got metal tins like this. So if you are determined to get rid of those rust rings and stains, a tricky idea is to reline the floor with sticky vinyl tiles. Instant clean. Cupboards like this can get really dark at the back, so the way to beat that is with one of these sensor lights, under $10. And if I stick it on, just on this back wall here with some of these command strips, whenever it needs replacement batteries, I can simply take it off. It'll certainly brighten up the space. I think this is a really good idea. By taking care of that wasted side panel of the cupboard with this slide-out basket, it means we can utilise this little gap between the pipes. So now we've got two layers of storage, perfect for all those little bottles and brushes and knick-knacks that get stuck at the back of the cupboard. And for the other side of the cupboard, well, the owners here, they like to keep their bin in there, which a lot of us do. And the trouble that I always have with my garbage bags is once you start putting all of the rubbish in, Eventually, the bag slips down inside and it makes a real mess. What you can do to take care of that is grab a couple of little utility hooks and just stick one on either side of the bin. That way you can hook the loops around those. The bag will never slip inside again. It takes care of that. So easy. Who'd have thought of it? Well, hopefully a few of these handy little ideas will help keep your kitchen chaos under control.